and uh, of course if you have any comments or anything you please wave your hands that will also establish the priority in which uh, you know you're waving your hands that will give me a clue as to who to give preference to it will be exactly as per that order i will go i will not bypass anybody and best to use the chat box rather than uh, this one uh, you know uh, if you want to ask any questions and uh, i should on behalf of all of us welcome dr kashyap who is a multifaceted personality an engineer a mathematician and a Vedic scholar all rolled into one and fit for three or four generations of people to accomplish in just one uh, you know uh, birth and i had circulated his biodata and recognitions and awards and uh, uh, this one just about half an hour 45 minutes back and even in summary form it is so very uh, you know lengthy and uh, you know impressive one just can't believe it one 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 will have to only worship his uh, achievements and uh, the man who stands uh, behind uh, such achievement i will take about five minutes to run through some of these recognitions etc on the share screen mode after that i will uh, open it to him and uh, very good evening and namaskarams to the revered uh, professor rl kashyap with that i'll start the He was born in 38, now 83 years of age. Education from National College. Is everybody able to see the screen? Chat screen? If somebody can react. We can see. Yeah, 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 we can, we can. Thank you. Yeah, we can see. Education in National College, Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science. After that, ME and DS, DISC, that is a doctorate. A doctorate from Harvard University in 1966. Uh, applied mathematician, a professor of electrical uh, engineering at Purdue University, is, which he served for nearly 33 years, guiding nearly 50 PhDs and published more than about 250 articles in internationally recognized uh, uh, journals, peer reviewed journals, plus 200 conferences and seminars, etc. His signal contribution to science and engineering have been one, one is the first co authored with uh, Yu Chi Ho called Ho Kashyap Rule. I had asked him to briefly cover what it is at the end of the session and Kashyap information criterion. He has thought of artificial intelligence, machine intelligence, uh, pattern recognition, etc. in 1966, which we are talking today. And that can, you know, uh, tell you the, uh, you know, man's Mahatwa and, you know, what is uh, uh, capable of. Awards and recognition on the, in the field of uh, engineering and science. He was awarded the Distinguished Alumnus Award by IAC in 2010, Rajyotsava Award by Government of Karnataka, Vishweshwaraya Vijnana Puraskar 2013 by Swadeshi Science Movement, King Sun Fu Award, Fundamental Contributions to Pattern Recognition, International uh, Association of Pattern Recognition, Several best research awards, including J.C. Bose Award, which you know uh, how prestigious it is, and National Electronic Conference 1966. A journal, IEE Transactions on Pattern Analysis, was started by him. Even today, it is uh, you know very famous. His doctoral work, Ho Koshya Palgardams, is even today referred to as well as taught in the universities all over. In the field of Vedic sciences, he has translated all the four major Vedas and uh, several uh, other uh, you know, Upanishads, etc. into Sanskrit from classical Sanskrit to Vedic Sanskrit. The, there are certain differences between these two. And he has continued the work of Arbindo and Kapali Shastri in revealing the deeper meanings of our Vedas. In terms of awards, he has been given Veda Brahma Award and Bharati Vijna Bhavan Vijnabhavan Bangalore, he was recently awarded the Padma Shri for the year 2021 for the Vedic uh, contributions. For his work in Vedic studies, he has been awarded the Ve <coughs> Vedanga Vidwan by Maharshi Sandeepani Veda Vidya Parashala. And uh, here the uh, questions start and Mr. Uh, Jahir, hello, Jahirda. 
Uh, namaste to you all. My thanks to Dr. Sheshadri and Kumar Swami for arranging this uh, Zoom meeting. All the questions that were posed to me have been answered in great detail in my books, actually. They are not 1,000 page books. On that page, for example, why read Rig Veda and the Vedic knowledge in modern context? Therefore, the persons who ask the question clearly have not seen them. Before answering the questions, you should understand what is meant by the word spirit. Nowadays, it's fashionable to say we are all practicing spirituality without knowing what it is. Spirit basically means in the Veda that there is one supreme power which pervades the entire universe, all beings, living things, bacteria, and everything, including the negative powers. There is nothing else but the spirit. That first point you have to understand. So people who know only a little bit of Bible and understand there is no separate thing. Negative powers are there such as our old friends, Kama, Krodha, etc. But they are also part of this um, supreme power. Therefore, the supreme power is called in the Veda as Tadyekam, that one. Sometimes it also uses the uh, they pronounce he, Isha, etc. So, in some sense, as I told the books I mentioned earlier, they have been translated originally in English, translated to several Indian languages. Kannada, Telugu, Marathi, Hindi, etc. The first question posed was overview of the structure of the Vedas. The point really is you have to understand that uh, at least there are four Vedas, Rug Veda, Ajur Veda, Sama Veda, Atharva Veda. <laughs> So there are no base by and large, they are independent. Therefore, the idea is Rigveda itself is not a small book. It has a ten and a half thousand mantras. <laughs> Similarly, if you combine all of them, you have twenty-five thousand mantras in general. So, don't say there is repetition there. No, they are all individuals. Rigveda has been separated because it has, uh, shall we say, every mantra uh, has a meter. For example, first mantra is Agni Mele Purohitam Agnyasya Devam Rutvijam, etc. To understand then, simultaneously, the age of the Rigveda 
maybe 10,000 before the Christian era, B, C, D, or even earlier. And note that it is not one person who did all that. The Rukveda was compiled by more than 400 Rushis. Of them, at least 30 were women also. So the usual comment, women shouldn't read Veda, is a, as absolutely as an, an, as an absolutely no truth. See, even in those days, the basic idea of Rukveda is symbolism. They understood the ordinary people cannot understand a deeper meaning. Therefore, it was designed for uh, the great teachers, the Rushis and their disciples. All the generally people heard this recitation, plus they participated in the uh, sort of uh, uh, ritual, what may call yajna. Yajna is not a ritual. That's how the Brahmana books came. Little later, the Aranyaka books came. <clears throat> Aranyaka is important because the end part of the Aranyakas are the Upanishads. <coughs> to understand a distinction, you have to take a little trouble of reading Sri Aurobindo. We have published a small booklet, almost 100 pages. Basically, he speaks of the age of the Vedas and then the age of the Brahmanas and the Ranyakas and the age of the Upanishads and the later ages. You have to understand the distinction. There is not a thousand years of difference between Veda, Samhita period and the Aranyaka and from there we could have uh, the Upanishad and also. As usual, the person suppose they're all what you may call, as uh, shall we say, they are used to slogans. All they want is how many Upanishads are there. I have a book called 112 Upanishads if they want, they can go and read it. And they know what is Vedic Shakas. For that, you have to go and read my book, Vedic Knowledge in Modern Context. Remember, Veda Mantras were not in one place. The four uh, uh, hundred Rushis were not, they were all spread out. <coughs> so, so a, a person called Veda Vyasa or another, they come by, the, they went to a different place, just said it memorized by. them, and they have, they have it. That is a shock. But of course, they could have left out some. Another shaka is there. The shaka to the, we have a news is called the shaka or shaka. Similarly, there are shakas of the Ayurveda and the Samaveda. The importance of the Upanishad is Upanishad tries to, in some sense, the basic ideas of Rigveda which since I appreciated by intellect. So many of the well-known, well-quoted mantra, Upanishad mantras already in the Rigveda. For example, take the mantra 
quoted by Vivekananda that we are all children of immortality. Amatasya putraha. He says it is from Peteshvetara Upanishad. <coughs> but the original source is Rukveda, Tenth Mandala, 13.1 Sukta Mantra. Most of you on a greeting card see the one with the two birds, and that mantra is in Mundaka, but original source is the Rukveda, first mandala, 164th Sukta, and 25. So people speak clearly of retrieving uh, and that sort of thing, unless you have the capacity to memorize at least um, there is no question of retrieval doesn't make my sense to you at all that is the point so this idea should be sufficient for people as i told you uh, most of you in some sense are all slogan people before for those who have answered them for people who are interested they have to go to read books at least become familiar with the mantra. We have published 100 mantras of Rukveda as a small booklet, which are used in the middle school and that sort of thing. And the children are very happy about it. They felt their memory power has increased by their recitation once a day, for example, during the lunch break and that sort of thing. The second question is again in the same way. Shall we say slogan question? He wants the idea of the Nasa Diya Sukta, which is the 10th Mandala, 129th Sukta. Easy for him. No such thing is possible. The point is, it is one of those creation hymns. And for people who don't have any background at all, impossible. So in Indian tradition, questions were encouraged. But the questions were asked, you know, what have you learned earlier? First tell us, then we will answer your questions. So, but modern people are not like that. They are all happy with asking questions and they don't even care about the answer. You see, Nasatiya Sukta happens to be one of the four suktas dealing with the complex problem of creation, exceedingly difficult also. It has seven mantras in all. And the first two mantras basically give so many ideas what could have happened. And in the fourth mantra, there is this idea that there is a unique life which completely illuminates all of this universe and other things. The last line is very interesting. It says people normally don't understand that, but they say what it says is maybe the creator knows what it is, maybe he does not. The point here is you should know our the famous uh, Anjanaya Haramanta. He did not plan, but every instant he knew what next step to take. is exactly the same. In some sense, he knows, but in some sense, he doesn't plan. He does not know. This is the fundamental concept. For those who are a little bit more modest, this is another creation hymn, 10th Mandala, 190th Sukta. 
which is also very interesting and another one tenth mandala 121st sutta if they can read this the third question posed to me he has been posed because people simply all they know is what is they have seen in the netflix movies or the christian or islamic movies and that sort of thing you see you have to understand that there are no end here all creative powers in this universe comes from inside those of you who know little bit about the great ideas of modern physics like our general theory of relativity or shall we say heisenberg's uncertainty principle or the schrodinger famous matter waves and that sort of thing no angel came to them and explained to them it was nothing but inside it didn't come to in one place why did our uh, <coughs> einstein spent about 20 years in just developing the general theory of relativity before he writes something puts mathematics then he understands hey needs more work schrodinger is very important because his back refer basically shows how much into his thought was based on the upanishad that is the famous schrodinger of the matter wave that is the idea but the point is you can't understand any quantum physics unless you have a very 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 strong capacity for mathematics which most of you anyway don't have so in the same way the four all of mantras were shall we say flashed in the inside of the great to see who had done tapas therefore there is no angel coming in and that sort of thing that's all rubbish completely the word avanusha comes in in the rigveda 2.111 but there it refers to the non human demonic enemies like sama krodha lobha or the modern idea of i want i will think to buy <coughs> and all the commercial garbage which you are all here of which you are all great prisoners amanusha means ordinary people simply cannot get that sort of a child only rushi who did lot of tapas concentration they got it and at the same time it didn't come to them in one place again in the more inside more inside more inside therefore you have to understand don't ask questions again and again all it is not experiential in the sense you know which is very very low quality experience the world don't use the word experience it is called as inside the sanskrit word k2 for example when i did my own work for example it was a flash of flash shall we say idea hey it can be done this way of course the mathematics came in the way and for the rushi it is a thousand thousand times more powerful this flash okay therefore <coughs> it is experiential true but it is not the heart of a low class experience which you people are familiar therefore be a little bit humble and modest before even asking the questions so apaurushiya means not ordinary human being okay a manusha means 
non human demonic force it is by the two second mantra second sukta sorry the 2.11 basically says go oh, indra so you have to kill the demonic force it is not in our business fourth question is again people who simply have no idea are eager to answer questions the question is you know if the source of all hindi hindi religions is same i did not say that after all 25000 mantras are there each one is unique please understand 1000 times better than that okay vedas pupar and etc how come they have led to uh, the opposite philosophies at vedas vishishta advaita advaita etc person who asked this questions quite possibly they would not have even seen a small booklet clearly describing the advaita or vishishta advaita or etc they want to ask a question that is the idea so first of all you have to understand that the every mantra in the veda samhita 25000 has a unique it gives a unique idea including some very very interesting idea for example <coughs> there is even veda is not a book of uh, science but still it says how alone we hold consider the time taken by the sun to reach us how much it is it says a six mahurtas going back and forth and that's basically not equal to 10 minutes in the modern language therefore they are very very interesting therefore this advaita vishishta advaita the source is not the veda among the acharya shankara acharya ramanuja etc only madhvacharya wrote a small commentary a poetic commentary on the first forty suktas of rigveda but all of these people claim that they defend their ideas via so called the padarayanas brahma sutra the padarayana brahma sutra is something like 5 or 6000 or 8000 years later than the veda they are all excerpts say, small quotations from the upanishads therefore the all of these great teachers they take one of these uh, it has about 700 of these quotation they take a few and say hey this is your uh, which is the advaita this is advaita this is advaita etc therefore it is not there is a english translation of the whole thing due to dev bhattacharya in the united states works for ibm and that sort of thing but the answer is i don't have to spend much time because you people have to take the trouble or simply asking questions and wasting my time is not the best strategy second question the next question is refers to a, i don't like conjectures it refers to what is called as the shivalik hot number of ribs etc all of it is complete the entire five question rigveda ashva sukta rigveda ashva sukta is a very very complicated one it is not a deal with physical horses at all <coughs> symbolic horses the veda 
go word comes but it is not the four legged animal <coughs> it is the in knowledge basically similarly aishwa comes in pradhar in ekai one divides the aishwa into four parts one one is the the horses of the devas haiva and then the aruva the the uh, the uh, horses of the demons vaji the horse of the gandharva and ashwa the horse of the human ashwa basically means the pranic energy you have to understand that basic idea <clears throat> so don't put in all of this shishwalik and that sort of thing that is completely trash next question is interesting how can we live life according to vedic prescriptions in the modern day i didn't ask you to lead the living life no i didn't ask you that you are all very busy seeing the netflix movies and the cricket matches obviously the you people don't have any time at all for all of the basic ideas of the vida but let me assure you as you have more than 80 years i know many people human beings like you there are three fundamental principles dharma kama dharma karma karma both as a individual as well as the group see we as a suffer the consequences of the groups of the karma all <coughs> see for as a matter of fact instead of wasting your time on the nasadiya sukta which you never never understand you may as well learn the memorize the agni hymns for example the beginning of the rigveda the agni hymns of nine mantras most of you it is well documented in all american books you start with projects they never get completed that's the that, that's why that's why the author calls it as the war on art we never complete anything else and therefore that can be done if you get the grace of the agni agni is not the physical fire but he is the power of the divine will which will impel you to uh, complete whatever task you have started uh, bring it to a certain fashion therefore <clears throat> this point i have to mention again and again that modern people there is no prescription for you again in the, those of you live in united states no 8 and 1000 people died in the may uh, covid etc and you don't have to bother about all of these things therefore dharma arthi kama karma it can't be that dharma means now we dash you speak only of the rights but the indian tradition says no that is not correct duties are also important number 1 the whole world as i told you today come is upheld by dharma dharma means that which supports all of the things not only human beings but the plants the animals the bacteria everything is supported therefore our the tadekam has no particular fascination 
for human protecting humans only effort so those of you who are a little interested can read book my this book vedic knowledge in modern context and also my other book actually work enjoyment progress which deals with the anecdotes of various persons and that sort of thing next question is very interesting will vedas purana science convert okay you are clear about the mundan grambo ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ನು i think somebody is not on mute that all a few mute your uh, this one please yeah you read with the ideas of einstein showing the to have sort of uh, an knowledge of my so my point i am saying is don't ever think of the so called convergence and that sort of thing science is not a deductive reasoning process it is not so only at the end to make it this in some sense acceptable to other people they write a long paper and that sort of thing and you the problem in physics is most people don't understand it anyway even the united states for example how many people you will understand a little bit of the general theory of relativity which has been questioned again and again answer is very very few similarly when raman was traveling by from india to us to england he looked at the sky why the sky blue suddenly he had the idea the intuition it he had already instruments with him and lo and behold uh, he gave a method and that was very later at to the manufacturer noble prize work at that sort of thing. so what i am saying is don't expand your limited experience and and generalize it your experience has absolutely very very little if for intuition almost zero if it were you wouldn't have waited if i thousand eighty if i lacks deaths in america for example by covid therefore intuitive experiential extra you can use all the words you want but i am not going to worry about it there is even a personal question for me what motivated no oh, i had many reasons people who want to read it they can read my books as a matter of fact it is there you can send a mail to our we jagdar he will give you the necessary things before i don't want to sort of thing but the point is since i come from a tradition of vedas i felt it is a duty for me to give a english translation uh, so, uh, so which is literal for every word uh, in the sanskrit there is a word in english and not introduce all other garbage as the westerners have done which many of you read and other things this will end my question 
I want to add or two more questions again, two more answers, because they are very important. As I said, as I said earlier, one of the people even mentioned the Big Bang and that sort of. And there is another person, uh, not here of course, who basically says, what I speak of, Tadekam, is nothing but energy. The problem is, you people know only the slogans. Energy, the so-called E is equal to MC square, deals only with physical energy. What is physical energy? Energy which can be handled by our senses and that sort of. Veda says there are seven different types of energy. Of which the most bottom is the matter, the physical energy. Then there is the prana, and there is the madas. No separate thing called my, my mind and your mind. And then there is what is called as the Vijnana, then there is Ananda, and it is a consciousness force, and Chit uh, and Sat. Therefore, people who speak of the what happened, you know, the so called Big Bang, all that Big Bang does is release only the physical energy, that's all. It did not count it. <clears throat> and all of it is, you know, basically conjectures, 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 that's all. But they agree there. <clears throat> Many of you who may have heard of the famous name, Stephen Hawking, he even claimed you know, you Indians are always into wasting your time becoming computer programmers and that sort of thing. If only you turned your attention, the most basic ideas of there, we speak of the three words, matter, and then prana, or vital energy, and mind, etc. Learn more about them. Your life will be enriched. Your knowledge will be enriched. And so many things have happened. It is not my quotation. It is the famous quotation of the person who is revered as one of the greatest physics people and mathematicians, Stephen Hawking. Therefore, the argument in all of this is that the Indian knowledge is vast. And therefore, you have to start someplace. We have written small books also. You can read these small books and get some knowledge about all of them. I don't expect you to become, but idea is what is needed among all of you is a bit of humility and sincerity. You have to believe in what is called Progress is not simply getting a bigger car and bigger computer. It is increasing the level of consciousness. But for example, take idea. If I ask many of you people whether you have sort of, uh, uh, how do you get your oxygen? You have absolutely no idea. Oh, it is in plan. That's all your answer. But world is changing, changing fast. And please remember the Sanskrit word for the world is Jagat, that which is continuously changing. Continuous. It is never a start. And I know the people you speak of the great empires like the British Empire. Or the Roman Empire, all of them became dust in some sense. So, in some sense, you know, all you have to tell you is this, that a little bit of attention to 
be a foundation, at least little knowledge of this uh, seven worlds I spoke about. And again, Ahimsa is there. Ahimsa is not simply not killing. No. Ahimsa is not doing all Every day, you destroy, you destroy thousands of trees, thousands of this and that's your way. But you are going to have to face the consequences also. The so-called all of these modern words like uh, climate business and that sort of thing. That is not is only a small pattern. Okay. Therefore, I will stop here. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer. But that is sufficient for today. I have answered all of your questions. Okay, Jagirdar ji. Yes, sir. How do I post the questions? Uh, I mean, uh, I will read out and you will uh, uh, explain it to him. How is it? Or should I type it out on the screen? You have any, any more questions, sir? There are some questions on the uh, this one panel. Or you can also see the panel. Uh, you are a co-host. You can just, yeah. just uh, uh, you know, uh, scroll through and find out if there are any questions, which is uh, chat box. I'm not able to join. It is saying that already 100% are there. You cannot join. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so... You I, I will you post it to you. Me. Maybe you can explain it to him. Is that possible? Please, please, please uh, display on the screen. Professor will see and answer. Okay, just one second. Please display it. I'll display it. Uh, yeah, if uh, anybody wants to uh, ask any questions, unmute yourself and put it. I will just put it on the screen. Hello? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Kumar Swami, I am Professor Shiva Kumar speaking. Yeah. Uh, see, um, I have got some facility here to learn actually Rig Veda, so Rig Veda and Ejuk Veda. Yeah. Uh, and uh, some of the uh, teachings in like, uh, um, uh, for example, Rudram Chamakam and all is in Nijur Veda. Yeah. So basically, if I want to learn it, I belong to Sama Veda. Can I learn um, Rudram Chamakam, which is in Nijur Veda, mm. before learning Sama Veda? Mm. That's why I wanted to ask. Thank you. Okay, well, how do I frame it? Can I learn? I have sent it. I have sent the question to you. On no, I am not able to see both. That's why Rudram and Chamakam. Of Yajur Veda, also, yeah. although I am of Samaveda. Yeah, without yeah. learning Samaveda. Hey, did he save uh, this one, uh, Yajur Veda, before? Before. Learn Samaveda. Yeah. Is that the question? Is that to which I belong? Yeah, to which I belong. To which I belong. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Jagirdar Ji, maybe you can. <coughs> no. Increase of Kumar, increase the font. Yeah. How is spirituality connected to sign? How is? How is spirituality connected to signs? That he answered in question number seven. Okay. I will send you the recording uh, oh. once it is uh, this one curated. You can listen and uh, for this one. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions, please? So, what, what is bhakti? What? What is bhakti? What is bhakti? See, uh, it is. it looks too elementary and uh, and uh, you know uh, as he suggested he had suggested one or two books probably you can read it and uh, you know pick up the lessons from there and i will circulate that list of uh, uh, you know literature that he had suggested uh, to you through this very same uh, mechanism which i circulated the uh, 
on this one. Kumar, so, Kumar, I, have, Kumar I have two questions. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I posted the uh, message to you on chat, sir. Can you just, uh, uh, yeah. Hello. It is related to the topic, uh, Vedas and Science. Huh. So, so there is this line in the Vedas which says that Ekam, huh. uh, uh, what many perceive as a call as many different things, yeah. is actually one. Yeah. So, uh, my question is, uh, why is this difference <clears throat> of uh, perception? Any, what why do we I, have this? I didn't get why your question. <clears throat> Why do we perceive the same thing, which is Ekam, mm. as many? And, you know, science and its discoveries, as we understand it, we'll keep discovering new things, yeah. possibly, yeah. in the future. Okay. Uh, but if it's all supposed to be the same thing, yeah. then uh, what is the purpose of uh, putting in effort to discover something new? Okay. Any any other questions? Kumar, Kumar I, have I have a question. question. Yeah, tell me. Kumar, sir, this is Vijay Sardana. I also want to. Yeah, tell me. Kumar, Kumar uh, in Mahamrityunjaya Mantram, huh. there is Om Trayambakam Ya Ja Ma He. What do those Ya Ja Ma He correlate to? Hey, what, because, in Mahamrityunjaya Mantram, what, what, what are these? The, uh, the, the, mantras, the mantra goes like this. Yeah. Om Trayambakam Ya Ja Ma He. Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam. Okay. But, uh, okay, that is how the mantra goes. But I'm yeah. asking, in the mantra, there is, this is in Rigveda. Yeah. So this is in Rigveda. Mm. In the mantra, there, there are letters which are Ya, Ja, Ma, He. Mm. Yeah. So what do they correlate to? I ask this question uh. from, the, from the context, from the context that Huh. Vedas are not alautika vadaddu anthe heli. Andre bhautika jagatthike sambandha pattaddu Allah. Huh, okay. Haa yidre sukshma jagatthike to the subtle consciousness ye yaja mahe haage correlate mododu. Okay. What's the next question somebody else was asking? Uh, excuse me sir. Huh. Kumar Ravi Shankar. Yeah tell me. Okay. I want to ask that question that all the four Vedas. Huh. You know, to understand that, which is the simplest form, is there anything available uh, to, so that I can understand the each and everything and also the distinction okay. and what each Veda, each Veda conveys? Okay, Ravi uh, is uh, uh, no, uh, quoted some text, etc., which I will uh, you know, relate okay. to you from there. You can understand. Okay. Any okay. other last question? Kumar sir, my question Thank you. Sir, um, my sir, question is, sir, we have, Akshat uh, Shraf wants to ask a question. He is 15 years old. Please allow him. Yeah, yeah, please. Mr. Shraf, Akshat please? Sarap, please allow Akshat Shraf. He is 15 yeah. years old. He is in other video. Yeah, Akshat, please, please ask. Uh, as a 15 year old, how can I uh, balance my study of uh, physical energy, as sir said, and the various six other forms of energy? So thank you. Practical. Thank you. I didn't get your uh, speak up. Sir, uh, as a 15 year old, sir, how can I uh, balance my study of the physical energy, as sir said, and the other six forms of energy, sir? Uh, thank you. Thank you. As a 15 year old, how do I balance my physical? My study, study, study of, of physical, physical energy. energy with other six energies. My uh, physical energy. On my study, my of, study, physical study energy. of physical energy. Ah, physical just energy. Energy. my study of physical energy with other six he said seven energies other six i uh, uh, sarda sardana ji last question Which i have sir my is question a... is uh, very simple we have four vedas Hello. to have a better understanding hmm. is there any sequence how to read them or we can pick up anyone and read it just to have a better understanding of vedas that's all okay Any ideal sequence, sequence in which to read the Vedas. Yeah. I'll, one last this question, is, please. Please, Sushilendra Nitur. Uh, I sent a uh, uh, question in Vedas the box also. Elements. See, my question is. Yeah. Is there any is there any reference in the Vedas uh. saying that uh, Sri Hari or Sri Narayana is a supreme? 
Okay, just one second. I think I've got it. I'll cut and paste it. Ah, okay. Okay, I think with this we will uh, this one. Uh, I will number them so that easier to. Unfortunately, it is not allowing numbers. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Jagirdar ji. Yes, sir. So I think you can uh, perhaps ask the uh, professor to answer all this. Yeah, now professor will answer those questions. Yes. Uh, now he will start answering. I will answer all the questions now. First question. I belong to Samaveda, can I learn Rudram and Chamakam? Answer is very much so. Both Rudram and Chamakam hymns are very, very interesting. <coughs> Those of you have heard of <coughs> Dr. Narayan Swami uh, of Los Angeles, for example, he has given a short course for about uh, 12 months. It is on the YouTube, you can read it also. Every day for the last 35 years, he resides Rudram and Chamakam. Yekam, next question. Why do I pursue the same thing as many? That's your problem. Third, in the Mahamrityanjaya Mantra, it is in the Rigveda, 7th Mandala, 59th Sukta. Triyambakam yajamahe sukhandim pushti vardhanam urvarukam yuvapandhanate. Basic idea is most of you are afraid, especially with the Gveda, about the death and that sort of thing. You, you think you can all carry everything you have, your death, but unfortunately you also know you can't do that. Therefore, if you go on repeating this mantra with concentration, then you will get a little bit of peace. I can't say how much. There is a question by Shraw, 15 year old. Physical energy can be controlled not only with a diet, but with proper speech. Don't insult anybody. At the same time, do regular exercise like Surya Namaskara and also the breathing and that sort of thing, stomach breathing. Then you will see your level of physical energy goes up anyway. Next question. Is there any ideal sequence to which you read the Vedas? You know, as I told you, even if it is, you won't bother because there are 25,000 mantras. Therefore, I told you, just begin with Agni Sukta. Somebody has said, is it sufficient? No. If you are driving in the car, your attention should be on driving. Not so. In some sense, you have to sit in a separate place, fix a time for it. And not only that, there are several other Agni Mantras. You can see our books. Therefore, if you do that, you indeed, you will become better. Then. Next question. Is there any reference saying Sri Hari is supreme? Not in the Veda. The Veda says basically, Tadhyekam. For example, Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. That is the sort of a thing it uses. But she here is perfectly all right if you sort of um, we come from the tradition of Madhva Acharya. And of course, if you repeat it with concentration, that is the idea, uh, then of course you will have difficult the idea is you simply cannot say, no, I will repeat it once. There is no effect. I will drive in the car, no effect. No, you have to sit in a place. Repeat it and concentrate it for about, let us say, 10 to 15 minutes. And I wanted to add one more thing. Sure. The modern disease is that 
whenever you have a problem you become angry you blame all others except yourself and of course you have to consequences my idea is don't blame others all your difficulties come from within yourself <clears throat> therefore if you develop the prayerful attitude then the solution will come that's why sharabindo said pain is the hammer of the gods to break the dead resistance in mortal heart i don't jahir ji oh yeah yeah so now i will request uh, professor kashyap to conclude the oh. talk yeah in a five minutes you will speak and conclude it okay, okay. yeah my argument is people since i have another 5 minutes left over my argument will be that our uh, yes. the simplest thing you can do as i told you earlier we have published a list of 100 mantras with original text and the english translation and explanation all there are a lot of small books are there before if only you read the small books then you can understand the basic some idea of the veda in some sense you see you simply go on can't say how to start reading the veda don't ask abstract questions you have to start before like as i told you agni mantras have to be decided in a calm atmosphere at least for 15 minutes if you want more mantras we can give it to you and that is the sort of training i want you sort of suggestions i want to do but what you have to develop is modesty in some sense <coughs> understand you know very very little of anything you want in world is changing before you are all blaming other people and that's all you are you, you can do before i will stop here thank you uh if question you have still like an answer two minutes are there okay uh, anybody any quick last question Uh, kumar you were supposed to talk about his uh, theory no that uh, oh yes tomorrow uh, uh, see baram uh -huh. i am not sure uh, in any case i'll ask him jagirdar ji yes sir see last question uh, you know uh, can he explain you know his theories that kic and uh, uh, <coughs> that uh, 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 this pattern recognition formula that was the last question perhaps he has uh, skipped the recognition uh, formula the theory one second one second sir question 8 screen mein hai sir ilid maadi sir display maadi sir puchha na ha to ओके Thank and the one more point I haven't to mention, our Sanskrit translation. Yeah, two levels of translation. First level is complete, twenty-five thousand books, and twenty-seven volumes. That is this idea. Before every mantra, you cut it up into four parts, 
and give it that is the greatest thing may most people have to acknowledge it second we have published small booklets so i know people don't read the big book before people read the small books agni indra soma etc surya saraswati and other things and lo and behold these are all very very popular in some sense the people like like this and uh, other things actually and another point i have to mention in all of this is to understand our veda has our books have been translated into german into spanish by uh, by pablo casava and the uh, indonesian by another person therefore you even if you don't care there are people worldwide who are using our books we are uh, selling roughly 40000 books of veda only every year without anybody so we don't take advertisements and that sort of thing and that should really help you out to understand that even if you don't care there are lots of people in the world who do care about the veda thank you thank you uh... Jagindar ji, any further comments? Yes, sir. Huh. So, I want to thank Dr. Veda Veda Arya for joining this meet meeting because I like his books, even though it is a thousand-page book. It is a <coughs> I don't know how many people will read it, but this idea of shall we say dating of Rama is very very interesting. getting out they remember there are two krishnas that's also interesting and thank you thank sir you. sir namaskar i am vedveer arya i think i am very very uh, glad and uh, i think i am blessed to present here oh, oh, i have listened oh, to your uh, oh vedveer arya uh -huh. so i want to meet you personally i will be the, uh, coming to bangalore in february really up, uh -huh. Yes, sir. When Dr. Vedu Yeraji, I can listen you. I will convey yes, your idea. Uh, put up your hand, please. There are so many. Uh, this one, they may not understand. Put up uh, even more. Ah, uh, yeah. Jaydar ji. Yes, sir. वो जो हाथ कड़ा किया है वो ही वेदी राजा हैं. हाँ. वो बैंगलोर आना चाहते हैं. Yes, sir. I heard it. वो मिलने के लिए. जरूर. या मैं एक दूसरे को वो टेलीफोन नंबर देता हूँ कनेक्ट कर देता हूँ ओके सर आप उसके ऊपर फोन करके साहब के साथ जरूर वी विल इनवाइट हिम या या थैंक यू सो मच एंड थैंक यू फॉर एक्नोलेजिंग मिस्टर आर्याज वर्क डॉक्टर एंड आई हैव सेंट द ईमेल ऑफ टू ईमेल्स आर देयर कश्यप एट veda.com veda is v e d a h dot com second is info at veda dot com आप लोग सीधा लिख सकते हो वो जागीरदार जी पढ़ के आपको वापस आंसर देगा और आज का जो भी रिकॉर्डिंग है वो आने के बाद क्यूरेट करके ये जो ये जो सर्कुलेशन लिस्ट था वो सर्कुलेशन लिस्ट में बा, बा, मैं डाल दूंगा आप सबको मिलेगा ये और थैंक यू ऑल वंस अगेन फॉर कमिंग हियर एंड टेकिंग द बेनिफिट ऑफ डॉक्टर कश्यप्स वर्क एज वेल एज लेक्चर नाउ एज यूजुअल द वे वी थैंक इज ऑल ऑफ यू कम ऑन द वीडियो एंड यू नो क्लैप फॉर हिम दैट्स वे यू डू प्लीज कम ऑन द वीडियो प्लीज all of you unmute yourself that's the way we will know and uh, okay thank you so much sir thank you sir thank, thank you uh, it thank was a you. pleasure having you for doctor for uh, uh, you know for disseminating some information and creating some interest in reading of vedas and uh, i am sure this uh, today's uh, lecture and briefing and uh, 
will uh, uh, you know uh, enable us to you know put forward our uh, for this one i would like to thank dr seshadri for making this possible he wasn't able to join at the uh, beginning because it was should the even the maximum limit i had so he couldn't join but he has joined uh, dr uh, dr seshadri will you raise your hand yeah yeah that's good and if thank others you. will, uh, others will uh, tolerate me for a minute it is pure happenstance how it happened i was after mr vijay sardana for something on agriculture that agriculture mein baaton baatein mein ek ek shabd mein maine kaha we are allowing westerners to write our uh, you know narrative karke oh is that so then you will like mr vedvi rajya karke he told me oh then i met him and spent about two and a half three hours about a couple of months back do you and since he has used identification that you know the thermal imaging and uh, you know those kinds of things and uh, Uh, the carbon dating etc to come up with his uh, theories about chronology i thought dr seshatri who is also working on thermal imaging etc he is also ex isro so i thought he will uh, you know uh, be interested so i sent that book to him and he said no you are also interested in this kind of book then mr kashyap dr kashyap is my relative would you want to hear him and uh, you know that led to mr kashyap when i suggested this uh, you know this uh, small write up about dr kashyap and say that he is coming and uh, nilesh woks brother in law called me up saying this nilesh woks uh, you know is my brother in law would you want to hear him also so one thing after the other when i didn't even have anything in this uh, you know the run up events with me that is what i think is called uh, what what the pleasant uh, fate or happenstance or uh, you know whatever is the right terminology to use thank you so much dr uh, uh, seshadri do you want to say anything no uh, thank you very much uh, uh, th th thank all the participants who have uh, uh, participated in today's discussions or the answers to the questions um all, all that i can say is he, he uh, you know it is up to us to Uh, take out knowledge uh, uh, from from uh, professor kashyap and uh, since i have seen him since the younger days so he is one of the role uh, models of mine thank you very much thank you all thank you doctor and thank you dr kashyap thank you jagdish raji thank you all the participants for coming and uh, listening to uh, dr kashyap thank you so much thank you very much thank you and thank, thank you for arranging this uh, mr kumar swami thank you it is my pleasure actually thank, thank you thank very you much for arranging it thank yeah. you bye thank you jagirdar ji thank you